folks. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog here with Stephen from TCTSgroup.com. So it is half past six in the morning. We are back here in Dublin. And again back in back in one of our usual meeting spots here at the M3 services. But today uh, we've met up with a client first of all this morning in Dublin. Now we are heading to the boat for the eight o'clock sailing over to Wales and then down into Cardiff as well for this evening and all day Saturday and possibly pick up another consultation if not two on the way back to the boat on Sunday morning. So hopefully we'll take you with us um, try and highlight a bit of the stuff that we do. If we can, we can. not If we can't, well then we can't. You know, I, I said in the last vlog that you know we always ask permission and sometimes we don't get a time we don't get time to ask permission to vlog or video stuff and really we're uh, it's so hard to lift the camera and get vlogging because you know you're you're focused in and concentrating on what you're doing so hopefully we'll try and change that as the time goes on anyway that is all into Hollyhead and then down into Clients and Wales um, through up as far as Cardiff actually so yes what are we on this weekend let me see well first of all we have two fours pre-audits so I'm going to do an unannounced visit to them and um, obviously this video will come up after we do the, the visit and um, from that then consultation with new operators the main job I'm over here for is an accident investigation job so at the moment it was a fatal a couple of weeks ago I will have to do a friend's examination of the vehicle as well as a bit of mapping for them. So that job never stops guys. Um, the TCDS group are collision investigation division and our investigation division um, with both our you know covert guys and the likes of ourselves that are now visible within the company. So that leads me on as well to gonna sit down and meet up with another two guys, guys one possible full-time employee and the other one for an uh, authorized agent. So as you know guys, we are looking for authorised agents and associates to join the group and provide services such as training. Uh, what else do we need? We need training, we need tech graph analysis, we need software development, we need vehicle examiners, we need transport compliance officers, we need auditors, we need lead auditors, we need um, forensic investigators, we need covert investigators. We need it all and we keep them um, expanding rapidly, but we can only take on the people that we need and we want to take on. So a lot of guys are disappointed because they don't get um, through the interview stages or they don't get to the final interview. But one of the things that I'll be doing on Saturday evening is a skills test. So we will get the guys out and we will assess their skill out doing the job because as you know, a CV is only as good as what people write and an interview is only as good as um, people can deliver. So anyway guys, as I say, we're up here on the stand again. Um, second going out across the water here. So 
the goal obviously would have to be to get our own um, helicopter. <laughs> in here for a quick subway sandwich um we just finished up in telford for a quick meeting for some of our guys down um running out of telford at the moment <clears throat> and again meeting uh, one of our new associates or hopefully one of our new agents and associates so with that now we're heading on down in shropshire at the moment get a quick break and then another two two and a half hours to cardiff at the moment and then we will see what we can get done there so that's one thing just um i want to bring up at the minute guys is about our uh, authorized agents and associates so in Cardiff over the weekend we've another two guys to do and meet up hopefully they can be able to provide the services in which we need um, some are for um, service and repair of vehicles for two contracts tender that we have and um, also for providing forklift training manual handling training and uh, material equipment material handling equipment um, training as well so um, yeah We'll see how we get on. Anyway, I can't, I'm not sure how to pronounce this place, but um, anyway, we're just out of Wales into England and we need to keep going. That is all. Okay, folks, good morning. It is Saturday morning. We're still here in Wales. Um, we're actually in this morning at a examination bay uh, to conduct a vehicle examination, a forensic vehicle examination on behalf of the police and authorities. So as you know, we do all that sort of work, guys. And with that, especially if a HGV or a bus or a coach is involved, um, we're actually brought over for this particular job. It's a uh, it's a runoff of another job I was over here doing about four or five weeks ago. So a lot of that stuff we keep, um, you know, on the ground as such. I have to turn around here with this vehicle's going in and out that we don't want to get any identification from. But one of the things that we decided we're going to try and vlog as much about this sort of work that we do as well because within this trade of a uh, forensic vehicle examination and vehicle examination alone, there are there's not that many people coming through it as a trade as such and a lot of the policing bodies obviously are looking for independent experts so it's just to get the i suppose the knowledge out there to get people to come through this particular trade which is an amazing trade to be at in my opinion because families need answers especially after fatal accidents or life-changing incidents and you know that's what we do it for mainly but anyway guys we will continue vlogging if we can. I go from here now to another two jobs, which are two FOURS audits that I have to do an unannounced visit at. Um, the pre-audit, sorry, for FOURS recognition. So I'm gonna pop into Wales, two different locations, and um, assess what is happening at that moment in time. And then I have another two new clients to meet out at the docks here in, in Cardiff. And yeah, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, that is all. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed into our third um, meeting or company of the day here. Uh, oh, still over in Cardiff, and it's just out by the docks here uh, in Cardiff, a big, big recycling area. But what I do want to bring up, guys, is we're actually out here in this third visit for a Northern Ireland based operator. We do their northern stuff, we do their southern stuff, we do um, their stuff in Telford in wales and in aberdeen so the main point of what we do guys as a one-stop shop um, and as a, a compliance specialist provider with tack graph analysis training induction training manual handling forklift brace of wheels transport management um public inquiry support the whole thing the whole package that we do hit us up or take a look at our website www.tctsgroup.com i'm going like that because it should come across the screen um or drop us an email to info at tctsgroup.com so i'm going to put info up there just to catch our editor out anyway 
the whole point of that guys is that we get the same we deliver the same standard of work we deliver the same standard of compliance um support whether it's remote support it's all the same throughout so we have companies where we went to spain for portugal berlin no matter where they are we go and provide the same uh, level of professionalism service dedication support and more importantly protection so it's very exciting times here at the group guys yes we're in the middle of this whole COVID and you know we've been very lucky that because we do such a wide scope of specialist um work that you know whether it's from blue light training to um rapid response to you know ambulance care manual handling transport because transport has kept the whole world going and uh, when people bang on all the time with the nhs absolutely however without the transport getting the materials in the supplies in um you know nothing could work so anyway that's the main reason we do it so stand by. okay folks so we've just finished it up here in cardiff um we have conducted our pre-force audit inspections I um, audited two of the auditors plus a lead auditor and um, also we've got the examination job done as well now we're just after two very productive meetings with a possible two new agents so for our agents and associates program um, we have hopefully a compliance um, company or well again there's a bit of compliance work he's number of staff and he wants to get into transport compliance and we have another tag graph analysis company on board and hopefully another training company on board in here around the cardiff area anyway that is all okay hey folks not sure if you can hear me or not but we're just pulling out of this place here now we're just down by the uh, the helipad uh, with the docks here so we've been in dealing with guys in on the test center test lane so we're at the port of Cardiff at the moment and we're going to get back down the road. We're heading here from here to Newport um, and then we've a wee couple of, couple of people, a couple of friends to meet up with and then we're going to go back into Cardiff and see what we can get done. So people above asked me why do you not commentate as you're driving and from my point of view I'm always I've always talked whether it's on the phone or you know dealing with people. So one of the big things that we have guys for, for any of our staff that's out and about <coughs> you, there's, a, there's a big emphasis on mobile phones and the use of mobile phones, especially hands-free mobile phones. Now we all know that a hands-free mobile phone is legal. However, it is distracting, extremely distracting, and therefore your mobile phone policy and procedure, documented policy and procedure that must be acted on. So I finished a job this morning with a guy in around this area here and it's the same same story again. Health and safety consultant on board, two health and safety staff and everything looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful in a folder. And then we go on site and we, I think we stopped off at 117 or 120 uh, major risks. So the risk assessments that they've done once again are generic they went on to the HSE website and downloaded just a generic risk assessment form like most people do they put in a wee bit of their own stuff and then they think that's acceptable but what is not acceptable is the simple fact that nobody then revises it you know they don't revise it on a monthly quarterly six monthly yearly basis and risk risk will always change you know the end result is the end result like we see here the cranes on the on the left hand side and um, in the scrapyard you know the, the overall risk will be death end of story someone will die that's the overall end result but the risk can be you know it can be um, deviated away from the end result at all times so you then you have to put in your risk factors as well as you know the control measures that you have in place so for example there's a couple of tinkers on the right hand side no hive is vest why not <laughs> Anyway, but same thing again guys, you know, especially with employees um, and ourselves and even me, I've been out here, as I say, doing a, an accident investigation job, examining a vehicle and I had two forensic um, photographers with me. Now, COVID measures have, you know, tightened everything up the way we do that work, but even the likes of my health and safety, you know, I've been doing that, as I say, 25, 26 years 
but you still have to make sure that you've your PPE correct. You still have to make sure that when I'm using the two post lifts that they're certified, calibrated, inspected, that you know the chuck pads are in, that the locking devices are working. And we all know that we've fired vehicles up on two post lifts for years and years and nothing's ever happened. But we have to come out of that uh, mentality and put control measures in because at the end of the day, depending, especially depending on how senior you are in a company, um, you know you have to lead by example. So coming in with no, you know, ha hard hat on, no glasses on, no gloves on, all that sort of crack, um, it's not good. So guys, I'm popping in here to this Tesco because believe it or not, it is so bloody hard to get places to meet. And I have a new client here and his solicitor, I think, we're going to meet uh, in the car park here. So, you know, it's so hard to get places to meet now. The hotels aren't even letting you into the, uh, what do you call it, the foyer and all, you know. So, anyway, stand by. Okay, folks. So, just pulled in to Tesco here in Cardiff. So, what you always do here, park as close away from the door as you can you know to get a bit of peace in the car park just to make sure that cars don't come right up beside you but no 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 like seriously why why do people do that it blows my mind Yeah, folks, that is it. That is the end of this vlog. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, leave a comment if you wish. Anything that you wish to see in the future, just leave a wee comment underneath and we'll try and um, get our videos up and going. So we're back here now at our training and development center here in Lister Ski County Fermanagh. And as you can see, we have plenty of people in the place and we must carry on. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. And that is all.